Dear students, let us start our 64th lesson and topic is When Autumn Came Part 5 and today we will be discussing questions related to this poem. Question number 1. The autumn season is characterized by a few things. What are they? First, let me tell you that autumn, it is the season between summer and winter because there are four seasons uh, in Kashmir or in we can say uh, like in countries like England there are four seasons and uh, and they are spring summer autumn and winter so it's the season that falls between summer and winter it begins from September to November in the northern hemisphere that means to the north of the equator and from March to May in the southern hemisphere. That's to uh, to the that means towards the south of the equator. In autumn, the weather starts getting cooler because before autumn there is summer and summers are usually hot. So in autumn, this weather starts getting cooler gradually. The days are shorter as compared to summer, and the nights are longer. The leaves on the trees change their color from green to yellow or even sometimes brown or in some trees it's dark red and afterwards they fall off from the trees that means the trees shed off their leaves in autumn it's also the harvesting season like paddy maize paddy means rice maize or what we call is also as corn and um, fruits like pears, apples, etc. They get ripe in this season and it's so it's the harvesting time for them. But overall the trees and the fields are empty because they are without trees are without leaves and without fruits and the fields are also without crops. So overall we don't see that bloom in autumn as it is blooming in spring. So we can say these are the characteristics of autumn season and that means the autumn season brings with it these things. Question number two. Does the poet talk about all those characteristics? That means all the characteristics of the autumn season? No. The poet doesn't talk about all the characteristics of the autumn season, autumn season in his poem. He talks of only about the trees that how the trees shed their leaves what happens to the trees that means because they become completely naked after shedding of their trees and uh, also they become lifeless without because trees are the units of uh, we can say uh, food um, uh, fact, food factory for trees so when leaves they are shed off from the trees that means then they become lifeless we can say and leaves also when they turn into yellow or red or brown color then they become lifeless and then they are they um, fell to the ground and then they get easily trampled by uh, anybody and so he talks about what happens to the trees and leaves afterwards and he doesn't talk about the ripening and harvesting of fruits and crops in his poem because this poem is overall about the destructive element of autumn season on trees and on birds. Question number three. What is the impact of autumn on trees? Autumn has, we can see negative, has a negative impact on trees because it makes them first of all it makes them naked by striping off their clothes and that is leaves the green with the arrival of the autumn the green leaves turn yellow and thus become lifeless and then the leaves fall off from the trees and are scattered that means they lie on the ground and when they are on the ground then they are crushed under the or they get crushed under the feet of the passers by or people who that means people who walk uh, over the ground over them they are also crushed under the feet of passers by man that means people who walk uh, over them and thus lose their shape and even they don't fight back for their survival question number four what happens to the birds when autumn comes? 
the birds we say they become sad and gloomy uh, they stop singing in the autumn because their homes that's nests on the trees they get destroyed they themselves or even their younglings in their nests they die untimely death because they get exposed to harsh climate and hence they die untimely death and hence we can say that autumn causes pain to the birds as well just like it causes pain or it brings an, an negative impact on the trees so in case of birds also we can say it causes them pain or it uh, uh, brings a negative impact on them also question number 5 why does the poet invoke that means he prays uh to the god of may because god of may we say it's the god of spring and it brings life or it gives life to everything so that's why he prays to the god of may so that with his blessings that means with the blessings of the god of may the weak and lifeless trees and birds will again become living and lively happy the trees will again turn green because when the god of may will again give them blood so they will again turn green and the birds will again start singing because then they will feel happy and become happy so there will be a new hope for all for all trees for all birds and for everything because when there will be everything will turn living everything will be full of energy every thing will be there will be liveliness in uh, everywhere so that means there will that will become a new hope for everything question number 6 what happens to the leaves that are scattered on the ground the leaves that are scattered on the ground they get trampled upon by the passers by that means <clears throat> they are crushed under the feet of the passers by and then they lose their shape and beauty Question number seven: What will these with when will these withered trees bloom again? The withered trees they will bloom again. That means they will again become uh, lively or living again with the blessings and mercy of the God of May, because God of May is the God of Resurrection, and when the God of May will give them life again with His power and passion of his resurrection next question what is the question number 8 what is the gift of green uh, who will receive it the gift of green means vitality new energy and new life we can say and it's the withered trees the dull lifeless trees they will receive it from the god of may because then the god of may will help them it will give them new life question number 9 what is the poet asking for when he says let one bird sing so we can say the poet is asking for new life new hope and it's a characteristic of the spring season because when everything becomes lively and fresh again so we can say the trees Uh, the poet wants that the trees uh, will again get covered by green leaves they will again become lively and the birds will again become uh, happy and then they will start singing again question number 10 what had happened to the birds in autumn as we know the birds in autumn they the autumn brings or inflicts pain on the birds as well the birds had been forced to stop singing they had become sad and gloomy their homes had got destroyed and their mates or younglings died untimely death so overall the autumn uh, brought with it pain and sufferings for the birds question number 11 the poet has used images and metaphors that suggest violence in this poem so list out the image that suggest violence first it's striped that means here it refers to the autumn to autumn so it striped them down to the skin them here refers to the uh, trees that means it makes them completely without clothes 
Next, we can say this is an example. Left their ebony bodies naked. They are exposed to harsh weather. It shook out their hearts. That means to take out the organ of their existence. Then scatter them over the ground. Then they lie on the ground. The leaves lie on the ground. It also suggests violence. They tramp, uh, anyone could trample them out of shame. That means crush them. So it also suggests violence. Next, uh, these are also examples of violence. Undisturbed by a single moan of protest. That means they are so lifeless that they don't even utter a cry of protest. So it also means, it also suggests violence. The birds that herald dreams were exiled. The birds that herald dreams were exiled from their songs. That means they were forced, stopped singing. So it suggests when somebody uses force against somebody else. So it also suggests violence. Each voice torn out of its throat. That means to make somebody shut, completely stop uttering even a single word. They dropped into dust. That means they get mixed into the dust. They fall off into the dust, into the earth. It also suggests violence. And then these withered bodies. So withered, again we can say dull, lifeless, helpless. So it also suggests that the um, violence has been inflicted upon uh, something. Make their dead veins. That means again when violence is inflicted upon something then they become dead. So make their dead veins. It also suggests these words or these images also suggest that violence has been used against something by something. So here they are the trees and the birds and who has done it? It has been done by the autumn. Do you think these images are appropriate with the season why and why not we can say that these images of uh, what has been discussed in this poem they are appropriate with the season because this is what happens in autumn this is the impact of autumn on trees and birds but at the same time we know that autumn it is the harvesting season and when fruits and Tree, fruits and crops they are harvested so that brings that gives hope to human beings or to human beings and because uh, that is the productive season for human beings but that has not been discussed in the poem so overall we can't say that um, uh, autumn brings with it only destruction no doubt it brings destruction for trees and birds but for human beings it is a uh, season of benefit and we know that every season it is it has got its own characteristics so autumn has also got in its own characteristics and in this poem only one aspect of the uh, autumn that has been discussed question number 13 what's the significance of yellow in the description of the tree leaves we say with the coming of the autumn the green leaves turn yellow in autumn so yellow signifies the power and strength of autumn the, and the lifelessness and feebleness of leaves because when they turn yellow they become feeble and they become lifeless and then the yellow leaves fall off from the trees and they get crushed under the feet when they are on the ground question number 14 in the poem by Faz Ahmad Faz, in the first stanza, the poet has personified autumn. Who do you think he has personified autumn as and why? The poet, uh, we can say, has personified autumn, that means given autumn, the characteristics of human beings, as a tyrant or we can say as an oppressor. Who with his power, uh, with his strength, Inflict this pain and suffering to the weak and innocent trees and birds. And the trees, um, uh, they are made naked by shedding of their leaves. And then they, and their bodies are exposed to the extreme climates. And the birds, they are also forced 
stop uh, singing and also they are uh, younglings and they are we or their mates they are uh, we can say they are also uh, forced to die an untimely death so we can say the uh, poet has personified autumn as a tyrant as an oppressor and the trees and the birds they are the oppressed ones so these were uh, the uh, questions in this poem and um, with this we ended this poem and this is for uh, today so have thank you so much have a great day